dynamic range is what we call a camera's ability to see both very bright and very dark objects at the same time. A low dynamic range is sufficient for scenes like this, where the brightness level is fairly constant. But if there's greater contrast in the scene, we'll need a camera with a higher dynamic range in order to represent both the brightest and the darkest areas accurately. Outdoors, where lighting conditions aren't easily controlled, you often get situations like this, with a great deal of contrast. Here, for instance, it's impossible to see the driver. Some cameras are specifically designed to work in this type of situation, but dynamic range can vary greatly from one camera to the next. Here, bright sunlight reflecting on the shop windows gives the same effect as the car headlights so that anyone in the doorway appears to be in darkness. At night, if the interior light is directly behind the figure, we may be left with a silhouette effect like this. In other conditions, we might get the silhouette effect at daytime. There are a number of ways to improve visibility in these conditions. Moving the camera position may help to reduce flare and producing consistent, uniform lighting will normally reduce extreme contrast and minimise reflections. If it's not possible to achieve appropriate lighting conditions, it's also worth considering installing additional cameras, each set to a different dynamic range. There's no single solution, but when you're producing an operational requirement, it's important to determine the different levels of brightness that will be within the image and the dynamic range that these will demand from the camera. The key question you need to ask is, will the cameras provide sufficient detail for observers over the whole range of lighting conditions?